Stanford researchers have been studying the effects of video conferencing on people for the last year. And if you're often on a platform like Zoom for work or school like I am, you probably won't be too shocked to learn Zoom fatigue is a thing. And now, about a year later, we have evidence that, yeah, in fact, it is. Stanford communications professor Jeff Hancock says what was more surprising was that after examining their initial studies, he and his colleagues found that women were more affected by video conferencing fatigue. One in seven women reported they feel very to extremely fatigued compared to one in 20 men. You just see it in every age group. We see when we control for every other factor. Hancock looked at what psychologists call the mirror effect. They've looked at how uh, mirrors, physical mirrors can trigger what's called self-focused attention. He says he believes women are more easily triggered by this. Looking at our flaws for prolonged periods of time can cause anxiety, even depression. Another thing he pointed to was physical immobility or the feeling of being trapped while using video chat platforms. And for people that have lots of meetings with little break in between them, they get really fatigued. Hancock mentioned a few things people can do to feel less worn out by these virtual interactions. Move farther away from your screen. Simply shrink that zoom window or just hit the three dots on your video and hit hide self view. And lastly, he says companies and schools should be in on the solution too. It shouldn't just be our responsibility individually to fix this. It should be, you know, everybody's. He recommends one day a week where everyone turns off their video or just to have employers decide whether having video on is important at all. Hancock also said there's a survey employers can send out to employees to determine if they're burned out on Zoom. You can find that on our website, abc10.com links.